If you want to learn how to record 3DS gameplay on your computer and or live stream your gameplay using OBS all for free, then stick around because I'm going to be showing you how to do just that. Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K for Crap Fire Gamers and today I'm doing something a little different than normal. Today, instead of bringing you guys gameplay footage, I'm actually going to show you how to do something that I just figured out myself a couple days ago and it's something that I think is incredibly cool. That's right, I'm going to show you guys how to record and live stream your 3DS gameplay via OBS. The best part is, this is completely free. There are no expensive capture cards required. But just to get a few things out of the way before we get to the point where we're actually playing around with OBS. Firstly, this method only works with the New Style 3DS and New Style 3DS XL. And that's simply because the old 3DS doesn't have a fast enough processor or the additional hardware required to run the viewer. You know you have one of the new 3DSs if you have the little joystick right above the buttons on the right side of the DS. Secondly, this method is going to require that you have custom firmware like Homebrew installed on your 3DS. And that's really the biggest pain about this whole process. If you want to know more about how to install custom firmware on your 3DS, then check out the link that I'll put in the description. It'll take you to this website. And if you follow the tutorial here, it'll walk you through how to get custom firmware on your 3DS. It's not that difficult, but it does take a little bit of time. But if you follow all the steps that are outlined in this guide, you should be able to come away with custom firmware on your DS. I'm not going to do a tutorial myself, and that's simply because what I show you today could be outdated in a month or less. This stuff gets outdated so frequently that even if you check out another video that shows you how to put custom firmware on your DS, be sure you look at the date that that uh, video was published because, like I said, this gets outdated frequently. Fortunately, this website that I'm showing you is kept up to date, so if you check out the link, you should be good to go. Third, you're going to need the viewer so you can actually see your 3DS screen on your computer. There'll be a link in the description so you can snag that as well. Once you get custom firmware installed and figured that out, getting the viewer to work is going to be a breeze. Just don't forget to grab the ntr.bin file as well. Next, in order to actually sync your computer slash router to your DS, you'll also need to download the streamer. Uh, the streamer that I'm using is called KitKat and it works wonderfully. Like the other things that I've mentioned, I'll put a link to KitKat in the description so you can find it quickly. Basically, just check out this thread. It'll show you how to use KitKat. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see a download link. If you're using Windows, just click on the little Windows symbol and that'll download KitKat for you. It's just an executable file, so it's super easy to use. doesn't take much effort at all. Lastly, you're going to need to download OBS. And once you get OBS downloaded and installed, that will bring us to the point where I want to start. Basically, just go to OBS. I'll put a link in the description. Just click on Download OBS Studio, install it, and then we will start playing around inside of OBS. OBS is completely free to use. It's a fantastic program. And I think that takes us to the part where we're actually playing around inside of OBS. So once you grab all those things, we'll head over to OBS and we'll get started. So now that you've grabbed all those things that I just mentioned, and I know it's a long list of things to grab, it's a pain in the butt, I just did it the other day, but it's totally worth it. Once you finally get all those things, you get KitKat, you get NTR Viewer, uh, you get custom firmware on your 3DS, now we're ready to actually play around inside of OBS. We can see I have the viewer running in the background here, I'm playing Pokemon Sun, riding around on Tauros, having a grand old time. So if we go back into OBS, we'll see that we have our scenes and we have our sources down in the bottom left. The scenes are what we're going to be building upon and the sources are going to be the actual items that we'll be throwing into the scene. You can have multiple scenes. As you can see, here's a scene that I was playing around with the other day. You can have different ones. 
So I'm going to be working on a blank scene and I'm going to start by adding a new source. The source I'm going to add is going to be our 3DS capture window. So to add a source, I'll go down into the source tab, click on the plus, go up to game capture, and then create new. So we can call this whatever we want. Um, let's call this 3DS capture. Now once we're inside of here, we can go to the mode and the mode that we want to select is capture specific window and the window that we want to capture is our NTR viewer that is our 3DS screen we will hit OK and now we have our 3DS screen inside of OBS if this is all you're looking to capture then you're basically done at this point but if you're like me this isn't quite good enough want this to look a little bit better, maybe look a little more professional. So we're going to play around with it and we're going to add a little more to it. So say we want to have the top screen be bigger than the bottom screen or we want the screens to be offset. We can do that. It's pretty easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my screen or on this capture window and we're going to go down to transform. I'm going to go over to edit transform and click on edit transform. Now I can play around with the crop options. I can crop the bottom, the top, the left, and the right of this window that I have selected. So I'm going to crop the bottom so that we only have the top screen in this particular instance. And I think if I choose 300, that will get just the top screen of our DS. And if you click on the circles, you can drag it, make it bigger, smaller, you can click on it and drag it around, position it wherever you want to inside of OBS. And once we have it where we want it, you make it bigger, whatever makes you happy, float your boat. So there we have our top window. If we want to have the bottom window, that's easy enough to add. If we go down into our sources, I can just click on the 3DS capture, which is the game capture window that we just added a minute ago. I can do control C to copy it, click down inside the pane inside of sources, control V to paste in an additional copy of the 3DS capture window, and if I click and drag, I see that I now have two identical windows. If I want this window to be the bottom screen, I can right click on the window, go down to transform, go over to edit transform, and then I can play around with the crops. So I want to capture the bottom screen, so I'm going to set that to zero. Now we have the bottom screen available. So I'll play with the top of the crop here. I'll do, I think, 360. That'll get us just the bottom screen. But if we notice, we still have a black tab on the right and on the left side of our capture window. We can get rid of those two. If we edit the left and the right crop, we can get rid of those black tabs. So I think 100 will get rid of the left and the right. And that'll leave us with just the bottom window. And we can click on little circles to resize it. We can drag it down here, put it wherever we want. Maybe something like that. And so now we have the top and the bottom windows of our 3DS being captured. Um, so if we wanted to add text, if we wanted to add pictures, we could do that as well. So let's say we want to add a background to this, liven it up a little bit. What we can do is we can go down and hit the plus down inside of our sources to add a new source. We'll go up to image, we'll add a new image. We can call it whatever we want, we can call it image one, we can call it background, it doesn't really matter. Hit OK and then we'll go browse and find an image on our computer. I'm just going to select this green background, hit OK, and now we have this image, but it's taken up the whole screen. We can't see our DS screens now. How do we get that to go behind? We just go down, click on the image, and then we can cycle it down by clicking on the down arrow. That will take it and put it behind our other screens. So now we have a background behind our 3DS screens so that 
it doesn't look quite as blank. You can add in other pictures, you can add in pictures of your favorite Pokemon or really whatever you want, you know, just to liven it up some. Now let's say that we want to add the chat to our gameplay too. So if somebody's watching our live stream, they can see the chat scrolling across our gameplay. We can add our live chat to our OBS so that it'll show up on top of our gameplay. If we go to our channel page, we go up to Video Manager at the top. Click on Video Manager, and in the left-hand side, we go down to Live Streaming. Click on Live Streaming. That'll take us into our Live Streaming dashboard. If we go over to the right where Live Chat is, we can click on the three vertical dots, go down, click on Pop Out Chat, and that will pop the chat out. And it'll also give us a URL. We can copy this URL, Control c you can right click and copy, but copy the URL address and then we're going to go back inside of OBS and we're going to go and add a new source. So how do we add a new source? We go down and we click on the plus button below source. We'll go up and this time we're going to add a browser source. So add a browser source, call it whatever you want, you can call it um, YouTube Chat. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And then the first little bar here, the first option, paste in your URL for your live chat. You can also play around with the width and the height. You hit OK. Now we have our chat. We can put our chat inside of OBS, and so this will also be streaming along with our gameplay. If we want to make this thinner, or we want to change the size, we can do that as well. We can right click on it. We can also right click down inside of sources. It doesn't matter. We can right click, go to properties, or we can go up here and on this window or the live chat, you can right click, go down to properties, and then we can change the width. Say we want the width to be 425. And we can go down and hit OK. And now we have a slightly skinnier chat that we can throw right there. Well, now that we have our live chat in here, what if we don't like the way it looks? Say that I want to put this chat over my gameplay. If I do that, then it blocks out a big portion of my screen. Well, we can make this transparent and we can do other things with it as well. We can customize this chat to look however we want, really. And to do that, there's going to be another link in the description and it'll take you to this chat to uh, version 2.0 style generator in here you can change your font size you can change the font you can change the font color there are a whole list of things that you can actually change inside but what I'm going to be focusing on right now is the background and as long as I have this background slider set all the way to the left then that is going to give us a transparent chat window if we go down to the bottom of this page, we'll see a CSS option. So we'll just click inside of the CSS box. If we hit Control A, that'll highlight everything. And we hit Control C to copy all of the information. We'll go back inside of OBS. We can go over to our live chat, right click, go down to properties. And at the very bottom of properties, we see a CSS option. We can click in here, control A, delete, and we can paste in what we just copied from the custom chat generator. So I'll just control V to paste in all that information. And then when I hit OK, our chat has now been updated to be transparent. There's nothing in the chat right now. Let's type something so that you can see what it actually looks like. So if I select our chat, I can type something like, hello, everyone. And I can see now it's showing up as a transparent chat. Let me just keep typing. You get the picture. We can put this over top of our gameplay, and it doesn't take up a bunch of real estate, and it looks a lot more professional than just the ugly, bulky, white live chat. 
So next on the list is how to get sound. We have our gameplay being captured, we have the live chat in here, but we still don't have sound. If we want to capture the sound from our 3DS, we're going to need an aux cable. We'll plug one end of the aux cable into the headphones mic, or the headphone jack on our 3DS, and the other side of that aux cable will go into what is the microphone input on our computer. And then once we have that set up, we'll go back into sources, we'll go down to add a new source, we'll click on the plus, and then we'll add an audio input capture. You can call it whatever you want, you can call it 3DS audio, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And this, just go down and select the audio from the drop down list. Whatever it may be, select it, hit OK, and now you are capturing your 3DS audio. You can also add your mic in the same manner. Just click on the plus, go up to audio input capture, and then you can capture your mic. And then once again, just select the appropriate device, whatever your mic is, then go over hit OK. And now you're capturing both your mic and the audio from your 3DS. You can play around with the sound levels if you look down inside the mixer option in the bottom of the center. You can play around with the sliders, move those left and right to get them just perfect. You can also click on the gears for each of the audio inputs. You can add a filter uh, if you wanted to add a compressor like what I've already got here. You click on plus, add compressor, and then you can play around with your threshold. You can play around with the output the attack, whatever you want. One thing that I highly recommend before you guys do any recording, before you do any live streaming, make sure you test out your audio and make sure that it sounds good before you actually go live. One of the most important things when you're live streaming is your audio quality. So be sure to test it out before you actually go live. You can test it out just by starting a recording over here. You can click start recording. That'll start recording what you have going on in OBS. And then once you hit stop recording, you can go back and view that. If you go up to file, click on show recordings, that'll take you into your recordings. You can take a listen to it, see what it sounds like, and you can keep playing around with the compressor. You can play around with these different sliders just to get the audio sounding right. Uh, say that we want to add a text to this also, we can do that. If we go down and we add a new source, we can click on the plus symbol, we can click on text, and then we can add a text to this. Say we just want to have a, I don't know, a scrolling text. We can change the font, we can change the size of the font. Say that I want a nice, I don't know, let's, uh, let's go with a nice stencil. I like stencil. Click on stencil, we can change the font size, say we want, I don't know, maybe a 48, hit OK. We can also change the color, maybe a nice fluorescent yellow green, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And then right here in your text box is where you'll type in your text. You can type whatever you want, I'm just going to type hello. Uh, thank you for watching. You get the idea. We hit OK. Now we have text in our OBS window as well. And this will show up whenever we're recording or whenever we are live streaming. We can put that wherever we want. We can change the color. We can change the font just by right clicking on it, going back to properties. And we can change the color, change the font. Say that I don't like this color with the background, I can make it a different color, I can make it something a little darker, uh, maybe like a dark blue or, or, or something, whatever. And now it's a dark blue. Just whatever floats your boat. If we go back and we click in the text window, we can actually put a bunch of spaces in here, like this, and then we can say something like, I don't know, 
uh, leave me a message in the chat. And if we put a bunch of spaces behind that as well, that'll take us back to the first message, which is, hello, thank you for watching. And you can say other stuff too, like, I am YoYo Y2K. I don't know. Whatever you want. And hit OK. Now we can see we have a very long text line. And we can make this scroll. So if I right click on it and I go up to filters, and I go down to the plus, I can add a new filter. I'm going to add a scroll. I'm just going to call it scroll. We can change the horizontal speed. We can change the vertical speed. I don't know why we would change the vertical speed, but we can. I'm just going to change the horizontal speed. We can drag this over and you'll see that now it's scrolling. You can change the speed. Set to wherever you want. Hit OK. And now we have a scrolling chat. We can reposition it. And it looks pretty good. And I think that's basically all that I wanted to cover inside of OBS. I've gone over how to add your 3DS capture window. We can play around inside of here. We can play Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, whatever we want. We can capture that. We can live stream. We can record it. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we've added in our chat window so that people can interact with us while we're in the chat. They can see their uh, they, they can see their chat coming up on the stream. Um, you can see it also. You can respond to them. Make everybody feel happy. Um, we can add different things inside of our uh, inside of our sources. You know, there's media sources. There's slideshows. If you wanted to add like your like your camera, so you have a webcam you wanted to add, you would add your capture device, your video capture device, then you would just select it, add that as well, and then you'll be playing around with it the same way that we played around with our 3DS capture windows. It's the same concept. Put it wherever you want, resize it. But I think that's everything that I wanted to cover for today. Oh, I guess there's one more important thing that we should cover, and that is how you actually start the stream or start your recording. We already talked about how to start the recording. We'll just go down. We'll hit start recording. We can record what we have going on inside of OBS. So basically, if you want to use OBS for recording your gameplay, you can do that. It's absolutely free. Great quality. You can open up the files, take a look at them, edit them, do whatever you want. Say we want to start the streaming. We'll go up and we'll select start streaming. And then it'll bring up a little message. Are you sure you want to start the stream? We can click yes, and then we'll go live, click no, whatever you want. So to go live, the first time you do it, you're going to have to sync your OBS with your YouTube channel. And to do that, you just go over to your live stream tab, which we're already inside. We'll go down to the bottom, and it's going to ask you for this stream name or this stream key. You'll just click on reveal. That will open up. Well, that'll allow you to see the key. You'll copy that, paste it into OBS, and that will allow OBS to connect to your web or to your YouTube channel. Make sure you keep that secret. It's like the One Ring. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Don't let anybody see that because if they do, then they can stream onto your channel. And with that, I think we're basically done. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it helps you out. If it does help you out and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. And if you want to check out more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. I'll put some links to some of our other videos down there. You can also head over to our channel page, check out some videos there. If you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.